hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to show you how to create a burning material like this uh, in unreal engine 4 and i'm going to use this material and put it on a decal like this actually not like this i'm going to modify this decal later so i'm going to use it to show burning effect on these characters uh, when I hit them with fire arrows uh, it uh, the decal may be placed on these characters or maybe on trees or any other object that I hit with the uh, fire arrows so here is the decal in action and I will modify this in order to look properly on characters and as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Right, so here I'm going to use some textures uh, that I could find in Infinity Blade effects. This, uh, this lava effect, the lava texture, this one. And also there's uh, another texture this jagged uh, jagged rock fiery texture actually you can even find the material as well in the infinity blade effects project but uh, but i just want to show you how to create a material like that from scratch so right let's uh, go to materials folder and create a new material M burning like this and the next thing is uh, let's get these two textures into my material and also this lava texture like this So if I connect this color to the base texture and this is to the normal map, normal, the material would look like this. But you see, it's just a static material. I don't see any live burning effect here. So we can do this. We can le linear interpolate, uh, linearly interpolate this texture and this texture. So what I need to happen is in the places where I have this uh, wait. Yeah, so what I need to happen is in these uh, black areas, I need to keep them, and in this red or burning areas, I need this material. So I can do it by plugging this alpha node to this one and plugging this one into the base color. But still, you don't see any burning effect. That's because we don't have any movement. So, let's do it like this. We can add a panner. Like this. Texture coordinate. And connect this one to a panner. So using this panel node, I can move my texture. For the time and speed, uh, actually I don't need this to move in the vertical or y-axis. So let's give some moment along the x-axis uh, like this, 0.25. Now you can see there is a, some kind of a movement 
under the surface so it's like a burning effect and yeah I think it's a little bit too fast so let me reduce the speed to 0.1 and also you don't see any uh, any emission here because I haven't plugged in any emission to this zone so how can I give some emission mm, so that it would have a glowing effect like it is actually burning so I'll multiply this one with the alpha of this one and connect it here and let's see what how it would look well now it looks better than what I used to have what I already had before but still I don't feel the burning effect so let's um, let's add a multiplier here another multiplier and and promote this one to a parameter mm, not really yeah a parameter let's call this one emissive multiplier and the default value should be let's try to yeah uh, it looks much better now so but still what if I add some kind of uh, variation to this emission I can do it like this let's multiply this one with the sign and for the sign I let time so here I will get for, for the output I will get some value in between minus 1 and 1 so now you can see this one is the emission is kind of changing so but uh, at some point the emission completely goes out so that's not really helpful therefore um, I need this to be slowed down a little bit so I'll divide this one with maybe 5 no 3 I don't know let's see if the change in speed changes yeah now you can see the speed is changed but also I don't need the emission to go away completely so let's clamp this between max should be 1 and the minimum should be let's say 0.3 right now let's promote this one to a parameter let's call that um, emish glow change rate and here well I'll keep it as it is yeah this MC multiplier is uh, already I have it as a parameter right uh, now I'll apply this one uh, 
okay now this is my material yeah this will do okay so now uh, I'm going to use this one uh, for decal so to show burning marks on the character's body or other places that I burn with my fire arrows uh, maybe on the ground or maybe on the other surfaces so therefore I'm going to use them uh, with the decal so let's try using this material with the decal just to see how would it look so the material name is M burning right now we can see that uh, this decal is not really rendering so the reason is this in order to use a material with a decal I need to set this material domain to deferred decal and the blend mode to translucent and apply okay shader compilation done now you can see this is my material like this so this is the burning decal I created and yeah as you can see here this will work on yeah my material my character surface as well but I, I may need to do some modifications to that uh, in order to make it properly look on the characters so right and that's all I want to do for today and in the next episode I'll work on how to properly use this material and show the burning marks on characters and other objects that I hit with my fire arrows and thank you for watching so I'll if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye also I'll upload the this material code and other project updates into the patreon page as well see you in the next episode goodbye